Greetings, fellow hostages. Captain Black, hostage you fights back. Today's topic, Lo the beloved community. MLK Day 2016 is upon us, and one model of transformative reform he advocated was the beloved community. Well, after his assassination in 1968, and looking around at the literal and cultural wreckage of modern society, black and otherwise, it seems that the beloved community in too many places where folks like I habitate has become the be thugged community. That's not an attack on the victim, as some of our advocates would say, but rather an admission that the victimizer, once distant classic clansmen of European origin, have been replaced, and some like myself would argue, surpassed tactically by chocolate clansmen whose perilous proximity as members of our families, as neighbors, as residents within the black body politic, give them unholy access to our lives and property. I'm not an integrationist. I feel that long before there can be black on white unity, there has to be black on black unity. And by unity, I don't mean that we all think alike, pray alike, believe alike, but it does mean that we have an infrastructure that we are providing the lion's share of our services and our goods, or if that's too ambitious, that there's a far more conscious direction to our expenditure and acquisition of resources. All of you already know the stats. You know where we rank as we look at MLK Day this year. If we're honest, things have gotten worse. And a be thugged community where you have outside progressive profiteers offering reentry programs and banning the box on job applications as cynical admissions that in their eyes the best that black men can aspire to be are inmates and felons groveling at some white man's foot for access tells us how far we have fallen. A bethugged community makes life very unlivable for the hostages, for black stakeholders, and this is a particular bitter irony when I consider the plight of members of my grandparents and parents generation, people who survived American apartheid, who lived through Jim Crow, only to find themselves in their golden years having to live behind iron bars and burglar alarms and constant fear of random violence not imported from across the railroad tracks but sadly launched from households adjacent to their own sometimes even within their own household The Bethug community seems to have supplanted King's beloved community, even among ourselves. And there's no amount of outside liberal intervention which will change this dynamic. We've got to decide on a case-by-case -case and daily basis exactly how much do black lives matter because the undertow which is making our children not only materially but morally impoverished is sucking more lives under on a daily basis. The Lone Ranger, whatever white program, white candidate, white nonprofit to which we have pinned our hopes are incapable of solving problems within our midst. As I look at MLK Day 2016, 
as I reflect upon Dr. King's model of a beloved community. I have to say, lo, the beloved community struggles and is strangled by the be thugged community.